Who is it for? Is it for Rico? I bet it's for Rico. Ah, oh, best time to talk to, to the Gazelle Ministry. He is no longer one of us. Yes, he dares to go against our objectives, just like the other one. We can still activate the key. We must do something about the one who stands in our way. We must eliminate Cain. But we cannot stand up to his power. Only Cain can destroy Cain. So, Mother, will you do it for us? Yang, what the hell? Maybe. Did Krillian say anything? Something concerning the potential ability of us a countervailing existence. But everything's focusing toward a single point. I see. The car is still shaken up by yesterday's defeat against Fei. We are almost ready. I just need a little bit more time. Then we'll wait. We'll wait until the time is ripe. Yang is the mother? The hell? Krellian? A countervailing existence? Where are they underneath the ethos? That Miang. What's she up to? I had better warn the commander. And then out pops Miang to stop her. No? Oh, that would awesome. Out of the way, let me through. That bastard, I'll hunt him out myself. Let's go, Vanna. She looks so much older there. Her in a miniskirt. Please calm down, Commander. We'll take care of him and his friends. What could you fools do? Imbeciles! Only I can beat him. Only I, who transcends all other humans, can possibly take him down. Move! Commander, wait! He did not. While Faye and the others search for the resting place of the last known animal relic, I temporarily returned to Nissan. I don't know why I went back. Just... I had this stirring within my heart that some danger was awaiting the people there. Yeah, I thought we were done with these little monologue things. I mean, I understand they had to rush this game for whatever reason, but still, this is a ton of stuff that we should be doing, not reading. I don't know. All the people accepted in Nissan were on the road to recovery. There were still those who were not able to completely recover, but Tora's nanomachines continued to evolve from day to day. Thanks to the nanomachines, the treatments were becoming more and more successful, and the day when everyone would regain their original bod bodily form was approaching. I thought you guys said that the Wells was the true human form. Now you're backing off that? Good. A trembling. There was a sudden explosion in the city of Nissan. Within the burning fire stood a gold Omnigear. It was Ramses. He assaulted Nissan so that he could defeat Fei. His purpose of existing was at stake. The Nissan and Shavat militia, even Renk and friends from Solaris, who now served to protect Nissan, could not thwart the assault. The people were evacuated into the cathedral. Continuing to search for Fei, Ramses put the militia to rout and pressed on toward the cathedral. He was ruined. He had his mind set solely on getting at Fay. I stood before him. Do we get to fight him? Come on, Ellie, you can take him on. I upgraded you. Where? Where is he? I know it. He's here. Why does he not come out? Ramses, the Fay you seek is not here. So please. Stop this meaningless violence. You, yes, you will do. Didn't I upgrade the VR? Maybe I didn't. She didn't get in it, so it doesn't matter. Come out, Fay. If you will not come out, I will crush Elheim. Margie. <laughs> Ellie! Boss! Keep back! Not coming out, eh? Have it your way! Then from tonight on, you will be crying with this woman's dead body in your arms! Ah. What? How the. What happened? Why can't I move? Ellie! 
Are you okay? How can I? To the likes of you. N not only to him, but I am also inferior to you? Me? What happened to you, Ramses? Why are you caught up with Faith so much? Why are you so bothered by who is more superior? I was originally created to be the integration of all human abilities. To be able to align with all of the animal relics. I was created to have the powers equivalent to those of Emperor Cain. You could say I was to be the ideal form which all people strive to become. However, once he was born, I was rejected. I was given life in a pile of trash. Born in the dark, cold abyss of worthlessness. I really thought there was going to be another line there. Whatever. Ew. But I was able to crawl out of there. I was able to survive on my own strength in order to get back at all those who have forsaken me. Despite all of that, I was able to get this far. I was able to provide myself with the warmth that I required to continue living. But he had to come and intervene in my life one more time. He tried to take that very warmth away from me again, as long as he exists. I don't belong anywhere. I think I now know why you are so fixated with Bay. You do not really know what you should be doing with your life right now. You're simply trying to protect yourself by attacking Fay, by attacking others. You are confirming your own existence. That's why you strive to be above everyone else. Because, otherwise, you'd be enveloped by a void. Because you yourself will disappear. Because that emptiness within your heart will only grow. Because you want me to... Because you want to hang on to love. Silence! Even you are trying to take it away from me. That warmth. That very warmth I finally obtained. Ramses, no one is attacking you. No one is trying to take away what is so precious to you. No one is threatening your existence. It's all in your mind. So don't hide the feelings that are in your heart. Don't fear love. What the hell is that? Y you No, you. And then he fades away. That's Ramses? Like, that's little baby Ramses? He was not a cute baby. Ramses was in fear. He feared losing the place he belonged to. He feared that Faye was the one who would take it away from him. He believed love was something you take. He craved love more than anything else. It makes the world go round. And drives Ramses to insanity. Either or, give or take. Worthless. Trash. Reject. Why even bother existing? Defect. Be gone. We have no use for you. Ha! Trash is of more worth to us than you. Hmm. Car, don't worry. I'll always be by your side. No one knows you better than I do, so don't. Yang, is this... is this all I can do? Is this the extent of my strength and abilities? I couldn't beat him, and in front of that woman, I couldn't even do a thing. Is this the limit of my existence? My abilities? You're the same as Cain. An archetype that surpasses all humans. I made you in the same way. But he is the one who is preventing you from fully releasing your powers. Divided powers. That man was your original form. The primordial superior being. If you could defeat him, then you would be. Yes, even with your superior constitution, the existence of the original being hinders you. If you could eliminate the divide power, then it would all be yours. Don't you agree, Carr? They're telling him to kill Cain. I don't, I don't know. I think I'm against that. I'm pretty sure I'm against that. Having completed the alignment of the first animal relic with Billy, there was a remarkable change in the appearance and structure of Billy's gear. They were units that merged with the inorganic. Of course, we had no idea what purpose these ancient animal relics were created for. 
but the fact that they played some kind of role as weapons was blatantly obvious. Eventually, their true power would be released. Will be released. And we cannot allow this power to fall into the hands of evil. In order to obtain the final relic, we headed for a ruin that is believed to be almost 10,000 years old. The remains of the first civilization on our planet. And a reunion with an old friend awaited us. And now it's time to choose our party, which means that that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Xenogears. I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>